Discuss, take action on bilingual pay for Sheriff's Department employees. Um, we currently do not have any pay for our officers that are bilingual. And uh, at this time, we only have a couple. And uh, it, this is a, a very important issue for the Sheriff's Department. Uh, if we come across someone in a traffic stop or uh, just out on the street and we're discussing and we're trying to talk to them and we can't understand them, we don't know if they're intoxicated or maybe having some sort of a um, medical issue such as diabetic. So, uh, they may be going into diabetic shock or something asking for help. Well, our officers, they, they may not understand that. And so we constantly are calling our officers in that do speak Spanish to come in and assist us in translating with these people, whether it's on the street or in the jail. And in the jail, we have to ask quite a few questions, uh, several pages of questions, and so it only helps the department and helps the county whenever we have someone that's bilingual that's actually there to help us do our job. So we're requesting of the court uh, an additional pay for our officers that are bilingual, $50 a month, and um, that is because they're called at all hours of the day and night to come out and assist us with translations. Um, we're not just going to say, you're, you're bilingual, you're bilingual, they're going to actually have to become certified, which we have a service that Paula found online for us, and uh, it's $60 per officer that uh, they have to call in to a number and they converse with the person online um, and if they pass their test by that conversation then they become certified and uh, once they're certified then we would turn it over to the proper office and, and ask that they become bilingual certified and receive the $50 a month bilingual pay. Will we eventually get to a point where we have one like on every shift? Do you think we'll ever get to that point? We're hoping to. Somebody go through training? We hope to. That way we don't have to call them out. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, on the street, we have Resto. We have uh, Talavera, which is an investigator. And uh, then in the back, we have Jesse. And, I believe that's the only three that we have in the department right now that are bilingual certified that can become certified. All right. The last time we talked, uh, the sheriff said that the deputies have to have something now. The state requires something. Uh, that's on the next on the certification. Uh, as far as uh, our cert pay, uh, this is. Just on the bilingual pay. But to answer your question, well, when they go to the academy, they get a basic life protection. Drop the weapon, stop, quit running. Not a proficiency to deal with a daily call, a report, a intake in the jail. So uh, when they go through the intermediate license, then they have another course they take. But it's not in no means being a proficient at it. It's just self-survival, basically. Drop the weapon. There's a difference there. Any questions? Well, what I'm, what I'm thinking about is what if each and every department head that deals with those types of people day in and day out, they request the same thing. We might have everybody certified. Well, where, where we stand out different, Mr. Grants, is we are second decisions making life decisions of, of, that people have to deal with. Uh, civil liberties, uh, criminal law, and we have to be split second to be able to handle these people instead of say un momento and go find somebody that can translate for them. So there's a difference there in office work versus 24 hour day uh, patrol work. I understand that. But and that's where we're, we're presenting today for our sheriff's office, not for the county. These department heads, if they aren't given that same opportunity, they could be I understand that. Yes, sir. I do understand that. Uh, but what we're dealing with is our deputies out on the street, our jailers that are having to the, uh, book these uh, criminals in jail, and uh, that's where we're standing here. And your request of $50 a month? Yes, sir. Any further 
further discussion or ideas or motion? Where do we stand? I'll make a motion. I have a motion by Larry to have a bilingual pay differential in the amount of $50 per month. Additional must be certified through a testing facility. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I have a motion by Larry. Effective when? Whenever. Susie, do you want it to be based on pay periods? If it were to pass? I don't care. Just. Okay. You want to, if it were to pass, when do you want it effective? Will this be for every single employee under law enforcement? Right now we only have three. Yes. No, I meant will it apply to? Uh, patrol, jail, and dispatch. I guess if we <laughs> <do> that, <laughs> what if the all the department wants to do? If it be, well, to become proficient at it, it would take a very long time to pass this test, which goes, I mean, it, it's not just your basic Spanish class. They, they actually have to be able to converse. So, I mean, I suppose they could go to a Spanish class and learn, but it, it's nothing that they can do in the next week or two months. It's going to be something that they have to actually go study and, and learn and become proficient in. Uh, we're not looking at sending people out unless we need, if we see a hole that we have to fill. Uh, so I don't know how to answer your question other than to say we're not, we're not looking for people to fill in this position. It's just if we have someone that's bilingual, it helps the department. So if someone moves from patrol into a supervisor position, they lose their proficiency pay? Well, no, because like Richard Talavera, he's an investigator, he's a supervisor position, but we call him all the time on the phone to get him to translate for us because sometimes he's the only one that we might be able to get in touch with. So it's not just patrol, dispatch, jailer, or are you using, are you saying lieutenant is patrol? I'm just trying to define for right. going forward. Right. so that we don't misapply. Well, it, it assists in every little spot in the department. Uh, even if we have a, a suspect that's bilingual, uh, Richard Talavera would probably be the one that handles that investigation because he's the only one that would be able to understand them. So uh, victims of crimes, he also interviews the victims of crimes because he is bilingual. So it, each department would benefit with a bilingual petty officer. Do we not have that for uh, everybody that's bilingual in the county? Well, we could, but I think we're going to have to address that yes, separately for who really needs it and who doesn't. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think whites, people. Oh, no, but I know we have people that are bilingual now that we use. Right that are already doing it and not right. getting paid for it. And I don't disagree, but I think we're going to have to look at it and see who it needs to apply to. Case by case basis. Right. Jim, I you have something you want to say? Yeah, Dwayne would be a good description to say it would apply to commissioned officers and jailers. That would be a good way to put it. Are dispatchers? Yes, they are. I actually referred to the other officers. Yeah. yeah, we run into it frequently. So having a street deputy is, is, a, is a boost to us this morning. All right. How do we drive with $50? It just was something that I thought would be beneficial for our officers. Just We didn't want to ask the court too much, but a little more would be beneficial to our officers that are being called out. And there are other agencies that do this. Dallas PD. Dallas PD does it and they pay a lot more. And Hooter Johnson does, I can't for which I was looking at there. Hooter does. Uh, There's is, is more than $50 a month. All right. With, uh, upon consultation <coughs> with the treasurer, I, I make the recommendation that it would begin the next pay period following the presentation of the certificate to the treasurer so that she would have substantial proof that they pass the test and certification and then it would be the following pay period that that would be <coughs> uh, 
Thank you. All right, I have a motion by Larry, and I have a second by Kenneth. Any further questions or discussion? Debate? All in favor of said motion? That's three four. All opposed? That's one. Tom Prince opposes. Thank you, John. Right. Thank you. Now we'll move on to the next one. Item number eight, discuss, take action on certification pay for Sheriff's Department employees. And the way I understand this, this is TCO proficiency certification pay increase? Yes, sir. I uh, believe the Sheriff handed to you a sheet and it says certification pay statistics. Um, most of you may not know, but in the past few years, the Sheriff's Department has had a rather large turnover in the sheriff's deputies and a lot has to do just honestly with pay <clears throat> with the pay of the surrounding departments um, we would like to try to make an incentive for our officers to stay and part of that incentive is a certification pay uh, what you have in front of you here is every officer that's certified the first page is patrol uh, the second page on the back is our jail staff and the third page is our dispatchers or telecommunicators. Uh, each one is listed out as far as where they stand currently with t uh, As you'll see at the bottom of the first page, I have on total, we have nine officers, nine patrol deputies that are basic police officers. And what we're requesting is that that's just the basic pay that's set out in our step in grade whenever they come onto the department. And as they get their years in service and their training hours, then they advance. The next step is intermediate. And you'll see we only have one officer currently that is an intermediate certified in patrol. Then the next step is advanced. We currently only have three officers that are advanced certified through T Cole. And then the last step is master peace officer. And we currently have six patrol deputies and sergeants that are master peace officers. On the next page, you'll see that we have our jail staff. All of our jail staff are currently just basic peace officers in T code. Dwayne, what is the I'm sorry, what, what is the significance of the numbers next to their name? Okay, I was, uh, the first number is the number of years that they have been certified through TCOL. And then the next number is the number of hours that they have in training with TCOL. Okay. So what we were trying to, to show the court in that, and I'm sorry I didn't explain it, uh, it takes many years to advance to the stage of master. Like if you look on the first page at, page at Anders Dahl, he's been with different departments, but through the, the years of service, he has 24 years of service with 4,342 training hours, and he's now a master peace officer. Whereas the one right above him, he's been here a year, has 809 hours, he's still a basic peace officer. It takes many years and lots of training hours to, to advance to the next level. This is not something that they can just go out tomorrow and say, I'm going to become a, an intermediate or advanced or a master peace officer or jailer or telecommunicator. This, this takes time over years to become, or, <coughs> excuse me, through, certified through t -code. Um, And then on, on our telecommunicators, uh, we have four that are currently basic certified. We have one intermediate one advanced and one master uh, telecommunicator. So total, at the bottom of the last page, we have 25 basic uh, t coal certified officers, and that would be zero additional pay to the county per month uh, with our request. Intermediate, we're requesting $50 a month. Uh, for intermediate pay, we have two uh, current t coal officers, uh, that would be $100 a month. We have four advanced, we're asking $100 a month for our advanced t coal officers, that would be an additional $400 a month. 
to the county. We have seven master peace officers. We're asking for $150 a month for our T. Cole certified master peace officers, telecommunicators, or jailers. That would be an additional $1,050 a month. So total, the county would be looking at only $1,550 a month for this um, pay. And, uh, so what it breaks down to, correct me if I'm wrong here, Dwayne, it's like every time you advance it's $50 per each one. It means you advance master $150 yes, to get sir. all three. Correct. All right. Per month. Per month. Yes, sir. And uh, again, this is just incentive for our officers trying to stop the revolving door because every time we have to bring someone in and train someone new, uh, it costs <coughs> the county money to uniform that officer, to get the training required to get that officer on the street. Additional education for the department only helps the county and this, this is going to be an incentive for the officers to try to get a better t Cole certification, which betters the department and betters the county. If, do I understand this right? If we, if we did go along with this, right now it cost us a thousand five hundred fifty dollars right now. Yes, sir, right now, a month. Eighteen thousand six hundred per year, roughly. Yes, sir. That's with that's with the uh, current the way it stands right now. Yeah, and the reason we brought this up, uh, one of the commissioners uh, had mentioned certification pay, and uh, was wondering why we did not do this anyway. And the commissioner's not here today, but. That's the reason we brought it before the court, is just for your consideration. Would y'all like more time discussion? Or would y'all like to, you tell me, you want more information for you yeah, well, some kind yeah, of decision? I would have to know. We get to take into budgetary concerns, things like that. Yes. And I'm not trying to put words in anybody's mouth here. Yeah. I'm asking. I could have a decision right now. Okay. Sure. We just wanted to present. No wags and taken today, and then we can consider it as we move into our budgetary planning. That's Is that fair to say? Yeah. All right.